<laughs> hey guys and welcome. Are your hard eating subs just sitting around collecting dust? Because maybe the car seats in there, eh, there's just no fit for them anymore. Or she just frowns upon you when you crank it up to listen to that favorite tune. For whatever reason there is, to have those nice earth shaking bone rattling speakers just taking up space in your garage, I may have a simple yet affordable solution for you. So let us begin our journey on how we replicate that 12 volt car battery source with something you might have laying around the house. Most electronics have capacitors and some like this Logisys power supply contain high voltage capacitors that store energy. So if you're not sure what you are doing or you're just not sure if your PSU is discharged, leave this experiment alone. It could cause electrical shock. We know a car battery is 12 volts and a common car battery produces 48 amps and when you factor in the alternator it's upwards of 70 plus but this old Logisys has a max of 25 amps on the 12 volt rails so it's actually not the ideal power supply to use for this particular amplifier but I'm gonna give her a go anyways Okay, time to crimp them wires together and connect them to the amplifier. If for some reason anything goes wrong while testing, like the power supply just quits, it's okay, it's just a thermal protection built into the PSU acting like a breaker. So just unplug the power supply and wait a little bit. You'll hear a click as it resets. Turn down the levels on your amplifier and try again till you hit that sweet spot. A fully charged car battery should measure about 12.6 volts and when the engine is running it's around 14.7 volts. So this is just testing to see how many volts our power supply has.